months, ATCL and LTCL, which means FTCL is not included. There are also no assessment and how it has come about. This is Trinity's response really to a change in at the beginning of 2020. So we had to think about this a little differently, but the same regulation of call as well as all the criteria for of call is being met and the academic rigor as well as the currency will be present in these qualifications just like our life qualifications. We always talk about performance and choice. That is our main line. So it is all about performance and it's all about your choice. And since this product, let me reiterate, is a permanent product, the digital product is not going to go away when the face-to-face -face assessment starts. So let's quickly look at how this has changed. This product is different from the one we had in the summer, the interim solution as we called it. The major change is that no calculations are needed in this exam. There will be no calculated element. Everything is assessed directly with the examiner, by the examiner. The customer interaction is with the local customer support office, including entries, queries, and any other support you may need. The user experience has been enhanced. I know we ran into a lot of problems during the summer solution, but this has been ironed out and we hope everything is going to run smoothly. There are need of submission and many other features. Larger video files can be submitted. We will have more details on that later in the presentation. So what else has changed? We have now got the technical work included in this digital assessment in the classical and jazz. There is also a new element which is replacing supporting tests and session skills. It's new overall performance criteria. And this is in view of the supporting tests and session skills. We are going to go into this in details. So please save your questions till I have made my presentation. Then if there's something you don't understand, please ask. The usual syllabus requirements for accompaniment come back because things have opened up quite a lot. But this is that there, there is an exception to this in case there is a lockdown, national or local. We have COVID special arrangements in place which will allow what was allowed in the uh, interim solution in the summer. However, I will explain to you also how this happens. And mostly, I think, our country will come under these special arrangements as music schools have not opened and people are not sending children for classes, nor are teachers visiting homes to give classes. And neither are academic schools open. There is a new submission information form for providing a list of pieces technical work, choices, etc. And I will be explaining this also later. It looks a bit like your appointment slip that you generally have in a face-to-face -face exam, but with a little more detail. So what has not changed? The structure of the ATCL and LTCL, that means the diploma exams. The fact that the video has to be created or filmed in one continuous performance of all items. The fact that it is going to be assessed by TCL's expert panel of examiners. The candidates will be making their own uploads into exam portal as before. And
end, we do need to provide a list of pieces and songs, but this time on the submission information form. So if we just do a very quick comparison of what a face-to-face -face exam looks like, what the interim looked like, which we really don't need to bother about too much now, and what these digital grades are looking like. So in all three cases, in classical jazz, we have pieces and songs, or songs. Face-to-face, -face, there is technical work, in interim, it was a calculation, and we still have the technical work now coming back in the digital grades. The supporting tests, hand session skills, if you look at the rock and pop, have been replaced by overall performance assessment. And in the diplomas, really nothing has changed as it happens in the face-to-face, -face. it happened in the interim, and it's going to happen in the digital grades. You have a written program and you play your prepared pieces or sing your songs. So now we get into the meaty part of the presentation. What does it consist of? So here's an overview of the subjects. On the right, you can see three booklets. These are, well, we call them syllabus, but they're more information booklets. They're qualification specifications for the digital exam. And there's one for diploma, one for classical and jazz, and one for rock and pop. This does not contain your syllabus, like grade one, these are the pieces, that's the supporting tests or this technical work. For that, you have to check the website for the most up-to-date version for your syllabus. But this is all the information you need. It has all the information regarding the digital exams, how to film, how to upload, what to choose, what not to choose. And there are three of them, as you see. The exam structure really remains the same. Pieces carry 66 marks. This is for classical and jazz. Technical work, 14 marks. And supporting tests, which carried 20 marks, are replaced by the overall performance assessment. So for the classical exam, this is how it works. The candidate chooses pieces from the syllabus the current syllabus, most up-to-date one, selects technical work group from the list. I will go into details about this. Films both these elements of the exam in one continuous performance. Completes the submission information form. Uploads, scans, photos of any own composition as well as any non-Trinity music that has been used and then submits it on the Trinity exam portal. How does it work for the examiner? Well, almost the same way. Uh, the examiner watches the submitted exam, awards marks for the pieces, awards marks for technical work, awards marks for overall performance, writes comments and gives the final result. So the result will all be in one place since there is no calculated element. The diploma, the structure remains the same. 96 marks for the pieces, program planning, four marks. And this is what happens for the candidates. Everything else is the same, except if you have any pieces from outside the syllabus and you have got an approval from Trinity for your program, please upload the approval letters. Otherwise, everything else is the same. And of course, you have to upload the written program. And the examiner's procedure remains exactly the same. For Rock and Pop, we don't have technical work. 
but we do have a technical focus song which includes techniques that are assessed. So that becomes your technical work. So you have songs one and two, 50 marks, technical focus song 30 marks, and session skills replaced by overall performance 20 marks. Exactly the same procedure. If you're using any own songs, own choice songs, or non-Trinity uh, rock and pop pieces, please upload those. Of course, the filming has to be one continuous performance. And the examiner will watch it, award marks, write comments, and give you the final result. So I'm going to now address the technical work. And if I may ask my panel who is here, are there any burning questions from the first uh, part of the presentation? Anybody? No. Go, no. Or, uh, no. Nothing that we, we have uh, taken care of what's being asked. I think uh, we would request everyone to just keep watching till the end. They want to know about technical work. And, uh, <coughs> which will be explained here. So I think maybe you can just say that again. That yeah, please. I did put it in the chat. Please wait till I finish. If you see that I haven't addressed your query, then you can put your question. We'll give you time at the end. Don't worry. So for the technical work, generally we prepare what is given, all of it, and the examiner chooses to ask part of it. Obviously, there is nobody asking you about what to play or telling you what to play. So how did Trinity handle this? Trinity has created bundles or little groups for the technical work because we cannot play all the technical work. It would take too much time. In each of these bundles, there is a combination of chosen scales, arpeggios, exercises, studies, as per the syllabus requirement, I will give you details as we move along. Candidates will choose either section one or section two or section three or a combination from the bundle as per the syllabus guidelines will be explained. So don't get hassled. Choice of technical work needs to be indicated on the submission information form. I will show you that also. So for the technical work that is to be played from memory, which includes scales, triads, broken chords, arpeggios, candidates need to close their books. We don't use our books. You may use a a list of scales, triads, broken chords, arpeggios you are performing as a prompt sheet because nobody is telling you what to play and you may forget. So you can have what is called a prompt sheet, but there should be no other information besides the titles of the scale or arpeggio, the hand specification, range, dynamics, articulation on that sheet. I have made a sample copy of this, which I will show you. You must hold this list up to the camera before placing it on the music stand. It is also permissible for another person to read out from this sheet before each one of the scales or arpeggios are played. So he kind of takes over the role of the examiner. Doesn't say very much, just please play this and all the specification. And this is generally, I think it will be useful for younger candidates. Of course, exercises and studies as always, you can use your music. So first let's look at these bundles that have been created. So here's an example of piano grade four. If you can see on the left, it says candidates prepare either section 1A or section 1B. 1A is on the left, 1B is on the right. If you're viewing the screen, 
choice of technical work has to be indicated on the submission form. Exercises that are there, that is section 2. You will see section 2 is here. It says exercises, music may be used. I'll just come to what is the choice there. That is compulsory. You have to do your exercises. What you choose, I will just tell you. So if we look at the second set, that is 1B. So section 1B I'm looking at, all from memory. A flat major, hands together, forte, staccato, two octaves, and the speed is given. The metronome mark is given. Now, for the minor, the candidate can choose either harmonic or melodic, whatever they want to play. Then the E major contrary motion scale and the chromatic scale in similar motion and two arpeggios. All directions are given here as to how you need to play them, how many octaves, whether it's legato, staccato. So in all, out of all the requirements, you're playing one, two, three, four, five, six items in the scales and arpeggios. Of course, as the grades go on, this will increase. So either you can choose this 1B or you can choose 1A, which is on your left, which has E major, F minor, chromatic, arpeggios, and everything else is the same. All the directions are given. Now let's look at the exercises for piano. Now we have three groups. There's group one, group two, and group three. Candidates choose and perform two exercises only as you do in the exam. But please select one exercise from one of the groups and the second exercise from a different group. So for example, if you do 1A, little walls, which is for tone balance and voicing, you could take something from group 3, roll up, roll up, or timelines, or something from group 2. So different groups, one exercise, in total, two exercises. I hope that is clear. Here is a prompt sheet for this uh, piano grade 4. So this is what you need to have on the prompt sheet. You can write it in short form, whatever you want. If you're confident enough, you don't need to use it, don't have it, it's fine. So this is what I put down, E major, hands together, two octaves, forte, legato. F harmonic minor, because I'm choosing the harmonic minor to play. Hands together, two octaves, piano staccato. Chromatic scale on B and all the directions. Chromatic scale on A flat, contrary motion, and the two arpeggios. I've used short forms here, also right hand, RH, LH. Whatever works for the candidate is perfectly acceptable. So I hope this is clear. I'm moving on to two or three other instruments and giving you examples because the technical work is different in each one. So, this is acoustic guitar or plectrum guitar. This is a simple one because there are only two groups. There are no studies, no exercises to be played. So, there is group one and group two. You choose to play either group one or group two. Each group includes scales, arpeggios, and chord sequence. For the string instruments, it gets a little more complicated because you have a bowing exercise from memory and this bowing exercise is compulsory. So you need to play the bowing exercise. After that comes your choice of playing scales and arpeggios and technical exercise or the studies. Within the scales and arpeggios and technical exercise, there is set A and set B. So, please choose one of these sets. If you are not choosing scales and arpeggios and you're choosing studies, you can play two studies from the three given. 
So I hope that is clear. Your technical work will consist for strings of the bowing exercise and then either the scales, arpeggios and technical exercise from set A or set B or omit that totally and play two studies from the three given. I have also put down electronic keyboard because that is a very popular instrument for us. And here also we have, I know this is a little uh, crowded and you may not be able to see it. Is it uh, clearly visible? I don't know how small a device you are using. But these are all there as PDFs on the website and you can uh, access them there. Now in the electronic keyboard, there is a compulsory keyboard exercise. That needs to be played, like the bowing exercise, the keyboard exercise needs to be played. Then you have scales and chord knowledge. So there is one group for that. And the second group for scales and chord knowledge and keyboard exercise, you choose one of the two groups. And if you choose not to do the scales and chord knowledge, you can do the exercises, which are about keyboard functions, but the keyboard exercise is compulsory uh, with this also. So I hope that is clear for the technical work. I spent a lot of time putting this together and we come to the last element of the exam, which probably is an unknown quantity for everybody. It's called overall performance and it is replacing supporting tests and session skills. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about how Trinity got there, you know, how they decided to replace supporting tests and session skills with overall performance criteria. We have always said our exams are all about performance. This is the first time really it is being given marks. Definite, definitive marks are being given for it. So what Trinity did, they looked at the content of the full exam, the face-to-face -face exam. They mapped out the musical skills and knowledge that needed to be developed to do the supporting tests and session skills. This is rock and pop as well as classical. Also, you know, all our qualifications have learning outcomes. They studied the learning outcomes of teaching these tests, our oral tests, our sight reading, our musical knowledge, and our improvisation and found that these musicianship skills are not only outcomes of supporting tests and session skills, they are very much present through the performance of the pieces and technical work, which is why most of you teachers advise your candidates, don't just play notes in the technical work, shape your scales, shape your arpeggios, give it some value, do not have a series of notes playing one after the other. And so rather than creating a new set of tests in replacement, Trinity decided to devise a criteria that would assess these skills across the entire exam performance. So now the whole performance of the exam gets connected and is being given a mark. Whether it's your technical work or your pieces. So you need to be all the more careful that your interpretation, your notes are correct. Everything needs to be done as if you are performing for an audience. They then tested this approach with examiners and teachers, which is why we have taken time. We've tried to get this whole thing absolutely right and relevant for teachers and candidates. And they ensured that the result was comparable to the face-to-face -face exams. So I'm available to explain this to you all over again if you want, whenever you can contact me. 
but I think I've been pretty clear about how this overall performance works. And I have some more details for you also. That was the thinking behind it. Now, this is the assessment criteria, which you see on the left. There are two sections that have been devised, performance, de delivery, and focus, which is 10 marks, musical awareness, which is the remaining 10 marks. The delivery and focus, in short, is assurance and continuity of delivery and consistency of focus. I've even gone into details for this and I will be doing that in my next slide. And musical awareness is the demonstration of musical personality, ability to work within as well as move between and maintain styles. And that's the examination criteria, examiner's criteria. This is all in the little booklet which you can download from our website. How you can get a distinction, how you can get a merit, pass. So all that is there. So now I'm going to decode this a little further. Performance, delivery and focus which has 10 marks. It really assesses the consistent musicianship skills across pieces and technical work. So don't ignore the technical work because this is going to give you marks. Assurance is secure knowledge of their chosen work. You know your work inside out. And confident delivery of the performance will include stage presence, tuning, holding the instrument, posture, page turns, a very important factor, how you turn the page. Are you uh, fumbling around and turning, flipping, flipping, flipping? Or have you put a little clip and you get to the page directly? This all makes a difference because your performance is being assessed. And of course, attire, which we generally do for an exam. We don't dress uh, badly. We dress very well for an exam. So that also is going to be adding up to the kind of marks you get. Musical awareness assesses sound musical knowledge to be able to appropriately interpret the different styles and genres. Are you playing in style? Are you not playing in style? And in rock and pop, the different genres of music and smoothly move between them. You need to convincingly realize the performance directions in the score. Whatever is marked, you need to be able to play it in that very way. And when you come to markings like uh, crescendos and diminuendos and fortes and pianos, please remember there is another point at the bottom here, which is personal interpretations. So clear evidence of personal engagement. How have you interpreted that music do you, have you brought anything of your own into your playing? Have you looked at that crescendo in the context of the whole piece and then done it? Or have you just done it uh, getting louder and then getting softer? Because a crescendo can be going from PP to MP and a crescendo can go from P to Forte. So all these things depend on how well you understand your piece or your style that you are playing. So you need to bring in your own personal engagement in your performance. So what are the benefits of this overall performance for teachers? You don't have to teach anything new. So you don't, your time stays the same. You're not going to do anything new and teach them new pieces or new something else. It avoids a reliance on technology because we cannot deliver supporting tests without having a face-to-face -face over, over a video call. And that is not practical at all because of the latency and the broadband uh, connectivity, which candidates have a problem with. We are all struggling when we are teaching. And candidates are able to submit the exams at whatever time is suitable to them. There are no time zone constraints. 
they choose when to record and upload and they can choose which recording to upload. This is where you cannot say that, you know, I've practiced so hard, but this was an off day and I didn't play well. So that cannot happen. So that's a big advantage. You record, you re-record, you choose the best recording for your submission. So I hope this overall performance that I have gone through and the technical work is clear. Uh, any Anything, Priya, uh, Gopal, Samyan, any burning questions here? Or shall I move there on now? No, there are no burning questions, but I just want to bring up is a uh, point is that there seems to be some confusion about, uh, you know, dates and exactitude of dates. I think we have to make it clear that uh, digital exams are not going to be... One minute. Month. We are coming to operations, yes, no? We are coming to all... We are coming to operations. Please don't ask questions on dates just now. So I think a lot of people are not really following what's happening in the webinar because they are asking all these questions. They are continuously time. asking questions. Okay, for those people... You can go through the recording. <laughs> That's fine. So please do not ask questions. Please listen because then later you'd say, you'll be mailing us that, oh, I don't understand this. How do I do that? And how do I do this? Please do concentrate on the webinar. All right. So just some syllabus overlap uh, that we have. We have new syllabuses for acoustic guitar, classical guitar, strings and drum. Drum kit in the... Uh, classical exams and the overlap period for the old syllabus runs from 1st January 2020 to 31st July 2021. So you can safely keep using the old syllabus. Of course, you're welcome to use the new one too. During this period, candidates may offer pieces and technical work from either syllabus, but not a mixture of both. Please don't mix the syllabus. This is our direction also in face-to-face -face exams. Most of you will know a new piano syllabus has come out, which is valid from 2021 to 2023. This may only be offered from 1st January 2021. Please make sure if you're doing your exam till 31st December, before 31st December, do not use the new syllabus. You can only use it from 1st January 2021. So please, the old syllabus will overlap till 31st December 2021. So please be very clear on that. Okay, let's look at, we've done the requirements of the exam, but now let's see what you need to do from your end when you're preparing for the exam. Please read the relevant exam syllabus and select your pieces. Select your technical work group. Complete your submission information form. Take photos or scan any pieces chosen from the alternate list or your own choice or own composition. And watch the filming guide video and check the filming guidance documents for the video requirements. It's all on our website and they've provided a lot in support materials. So this was just a wrap up of the exam, what all you need to do. Now, when you log in, you've received your user ID and your password, you've logged onto the site, you will see a space to upload your video file and exam documents. There will be a checklist on the submission page to ensure you upload all the correct and relevant documents. Before you submit, you will be asked to have a responsible adult, teacher, parent or guardian, sign a declaration to confirm your identity and that the work you are uploading is your own. So this will be in the case of candidates below 18 years. You don't need to show an identity card or anything. Just the parent or the teacher vouching for you is good enough. When you have submitted, as I said earlier, your submission will be confirmed by a message on screen. If you receive this message, rest assured your exam has been received safely. 
So look for that message after your submission. Don't just log out straight away. For uploading the exam. Now the video file size given is now anything below 1 GB. They have not done great so and so this much, great so and so, uh, 100 GB, uh, 100 uh, uh, MB. So they have kept it to below 1 GB. In case it goes above, please make sure you compress your video. And as said before, you need to download the submission information form and upload it, which I'm going to show you just now what you need to fill there. And after I finish talking about results, the results for the exam, the marking will take up to two weeks from the date of submission. It may also happen quicker. You will receive an email to let you know that the exam has been marked. Once you get that mail, you go back, log on to your account, read the feedback from the examiner and see your provisional result. Now, please don't confuse matters. This provisional result is not like it was in the interim solution because this actually will be your final result. But till it gets loaded on to the TOL site, it's called a provisional result. Once, it will take about a week for this to be verified as final and it will get onto TOL and your, that's our Trinity Online Registration uh, Portal and your certificate will follow within two weeks. So this is the process they have given. I hope they will be able to stick to this process. We know that they are very, very eager that everything should remain efficient. There were a lot of problems in the interim solution. So whatever result you see when you log back into your account is your final result. We just call it provisional till it is verified. And this is for uploading your files, your video files. Uh, this is all on the website. There are PDFs of this. And when you get this uh, presentation, you can see it. It's the same way. Your name, what kind of exam, classical in brackets, uh, instrument, grade, and the number. If it's RP, please put RP. Make sure that this time you don't uh, make any mistakes. Don't put a classical exam as RP. It happened a lot and there was problems with the result. So if you're uploading directly from a phone or tablet, you will probably need to compress the video. It must meet the 1 GB size. And they have given a list of apps for the PC, for the iPhone, and for Android devices. So you can check this out later. Now we come to the submission information form which you need to fill out. This is important, so do listen to what I have to say here. This is called for music and it applies to classical, rock and pop and the diplomas. So right on top on the left, you tick whichever exam you are giving, grade that you are taking, the candidate name, the candidate ID, and the date that you are submitting or uploading your exam and the instrument which is at the bottom on the left side. So all details will come there, almost like your appointment slip. For all exams, list the pieces or songs in the order of performance. Tick the own choice column if one of them is their own choice or own composition song. For rock and pop exams, tick the TF column to indicate which song should be assessed for technical focus. So once you have done that, you then come to the uh, technical work section on the left here. You tick which one you have chosen. Have you chosen? This is only for classical uh, 
music, not for rock and pop. Did you choose set one, set two, or did you choose, and in the studies, what did you choose? And this has to be ticked very clearly. Each instrument and grade has several choices. The technical work page that is on our website, and this also has links to it, will give full details on each possible section. So please check, uh, tick the sections you are using and list on the right side in this box here, you will list the titles of the exercises or studies you have chosen. Like in piano, if you if from one, from the first group, group one, you have chosen 1A, put, put down the name of the exercise. From two, you've chosen 2B, put down the name of the exercise. And same with the studies for strings and keyboards and classical guitar. If any of the pieces, we've been saying this all along, is not a Trinity College London publication, you must upload a photo or a scan of the sheet of music. And for diplomas, all sheet music must be uploaded. All the music that you are using must be uploaded. Please also specify which syllabus you are using. If you are using a guitar 16 to 19, 2016 to 19 syllabus, please put it there in the space provided. If you are using the 2020 to 23, please put it there. For piano also, once 1st January comes around, 2018 to 2020 or 2021 to 2023. And then is the declaration which needs to be completed for all entries. You have to tick these points. I have uploaded my performance in one continuous take. I have listed all pieces and songs in the order of performance. I have uploaded scores that are not from TCM publications. And for diplomas, I have uploaded my written program, all scores and approval letters. So signature of the parent if you are below 18. And if you are above 18, you can sign this. This is the COVID special arrangement for music declaration. If you're using recorded accompaniment or you're using digital uh, instruments like keyboards, please confirm with a signature again by parent or candidate that due to unavoidable consequences of temporary government restrictions in my area or country, I have made adjustments to the examination. So I hope that is clear. And the last thing here before we quickly move on to OPS is the COVID-19 special arrangements for digital music exams. This document is available on the website. You can go through it. It's pretty much the same as it was for the interim solution where you can use digital uh, electronic drum kits and digital pianos and keyboards up to grade three as well as recorded accompaniment or even unaccompanied. All right, so filming guidelines remain pretty much the same. You can go through this document which is again available if you don't find it on the website, ask your local uh, support uh, office to please send it to you. We all have the uh, have these downloaded and we can just send it to you in a mail if you don't have it. So you can read through all this. It's very much the same as it was before. And there is a link here to how to film your submission, which is a video. And all these pictures are given specially for drum kit. We have a lot of angles and for the sound option, all this is given. You can just read through it. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. And for other instruments, it's given in this PDF also. So please take time when you receive this to please read through it or you can download it from the website. Now, a very important area we are coming to, the entry process. We have a new fee structure 
So that's good news for the digital grades. The fees have been reduced. You would have got the notification from your customer support office. So this is lower than the face-to-face -face exams. Now for candidates who paid the fees before the pandemic, which is sometime in Feb, March, you must appear for the digital or face-to-face -face exam before 31st December 2021. Please make sure you do that. Existing candidates who are converting to digital may apply for a refund because they have deposited face-to-face -face fees of the difference after uploading their video. Please do not apply earlier. After you finish uploading your video, please apply for the refund and we will make it happen. New candidates can deposit the new fee as per the procedure followed by the local Trinity Customer Support Office. Now for fee deposit, you have some options. You can deposit cash or check at the designated branch of HDFC Bank using the customized fee slip, which comes to you from the local Trinity office. You can do an NEFT transfer to HDFC Bank. Details of this would have been sent by your local Trinity office. Or at certain bigger centers, metros, you may pay by credit card at the center. So three options are available. When you need to submit your entry, you need to submit it along with proof of payment in one email. Or if you can, go to the local office. If there are no restrictions, you can do that. Please mention the bank reference number of your deposit. You fill the entry form. I'm going to take you through that in details, which is the mass enrollment sheet, which would come to you by email. There are separate files for classical and rock and pop. Make sure you fill the correct one. You need to give a PAN number as per RBI specifications. If you want an explanation to this, please ask your local Trinity support office. They will tell you why this is necessary, but this is an RBI specification for any money that is going out of India. You please give your date preference for the exam. That is like 15th to 30th, or 1st to 15th, I will show you why, because we are now going to have, like our sessions are going to be closing on 15th of the month and 30th or 31st of the month. All information you fill should be checked and rechecked, especially the email ID, as that is where the username or password will come. Once the order is submitted, we will be unable to make any changes. So this is what the enrollment file looks like. All these columns in pink must be filled. This is an overview of it. I'm going to go into it in a little bit of detail because it's a little different from before. So here is where you put your first name, middle name, last name, date of birth in DDMMYYY, Y, and gender. External ID is where you put the PAN number. The exam suite, the exam product, I'm showing you close-ups of this in my next slide. This is rock and pop. And the instrument or the subject. Of course, your email ID, there is much more on the right, but I've shown you the relevant columns. And I have enlarged this like this. Under exam suite, you have to choose rock and pop digital. This is rock and pop. Please do not choose the ones below. It has to be digital. Okay. In the next column, examination product name, please choose the grade. There's no, uh, nothing else to choose here. Rock and pop grade four digital. All right. If you look at the top, one right on top, this is for the face-to-face -face exam where you choose your subject right there or your instrument right there. But now in this examination product name for rock and pop, you will just choose the grade and digital. And in the last column, in the last uh, column of instrument or subject, 
you have a choice of bass, drums, guitar, keyboards, vocals. You change, choose your instrument there. And for your uh, classical music, this is all the same. Here's your external ID where you put your uh, PAN number. And when we take a close up, here you've got to choose classical and jazz digital. Okay. Examination product will be classical and jazz grade two digital. Please make sure that's what you choose. And then you have the instrument, acoustic guitar, piano, whatever the instrument is that comes by itself. So this, this is how you fill the mass enrollment sheet. Be careful that you fill it uh, properly because this information is extremely important. Now to your question of when entries and closing dates, when you can submit and when the dates will close. There are no closing dates for digital exams. You can submit entries at any time. Remember, it's a permanent product. At the moment, we are saying it's going on till March, but it will go on even after March. So this is how it works. For entries that we receive between the 1st and 15th of the month, you will receive login details by the 30th or the 31st of the month, which is about 14 days or 15 days as it works out. For entries received between 16th and the end of the month, you will receive login details by 15th of the following month. So if your entry comes in now, which is 18th of November, your login details will come to you latest by uh, 15th of December. After you receive your login details, now this is really important, so please keep in mind, you will have 14 days to submit and upload your video. 14 days, all right? When you, If you receive your login details on the 1st of December, you must submit by 14th December. So please be careful. That is why I said in an earlier slide, provide your choice of date. Give a fig, uh, number which is like 1st to 15th or 1st to 14th or 15th to 30th or 31st. And then there will be no problem. You will get your exam at the time of your choice and you can submit your fees as you see at your convenience. So this is what there is for the submitting of the entry and uploading the video. I think I've done very well for time. This is my last slide. Support content on the website. Every slide had this at the bottom, trinitycollege.com slash DGD. A lot of material available as blogs, downloadable PDFs, which I showed you. There are videos. I did not put any videos in because actually it slows down the whole presentation and it doesn't work out very well. So I gave you as much information as I could and as I have for these exams. If you need to contact us, academic support, please contact me, Anjali, sorry, this is not Anjali.mata, I'm sorry, this is Anjali Mata at trinitycollege.in. I need to make a correction there. Please remember no dot between the Anjali and Mata. And for operation support, please contact your local customer support office. They are there, willing and ready to help you. Over phone, try not to visit because we are still going through the worst part of this pandemic and the less the contact is, the better it will be. So I thank you very much. I'll stop uh, sharing uh, screen now and uh, take a few uh, of the questions or clarifications if it is necessary.